and welcome. In this video, I thought I'd do a quick demo of an increasingly popular genre of app, a sketching app. They take your photographs and convert them into a sketch. And although there are many of them about, one of my favourites is an inexpensive one from the Mac App Store called Photo Sketcher. Right now it's $2.99 in the UK store and the equivalent in your location. I like this app because it's fast and it gives a good range of options. And yes, I know you can do all of this in Photoshop, Pixelmator or Acorn, but it's bound to take longer and it's always good to have the opportunity to try out new applications. So here we go with a demo. This one is called Photo Sketcher. And let me get that full screen. Very simple. Can't go wrong with this, honest. I'm just going to drag an image to it. So I have an image here called Headshot. I'm going to drag that there and it immediately starts processing it. And as it does, it makes a sketch of it. I can then configure precisely what I want that to look like. So that's the default. I can also give it a split so I can see what it looked like and what it proposes the sketch will look like. And I can go back to the original and then I can see the sketch. Right, these are my options over here. I can change the pen size. If I take that right down to very narrow, it goes very faint. If I take it right up to the other end, it goes much darker, so much deeper. Uh, I can change the colour of the pen. So if I, in fact, I will change the colour totally, otherwise it's just going to be shades of grey. So I could do it in uh, teal or red. So whatever you would like that to match in with maybe something something else you would like that to match in with okay you can then change uh, the moisture of it so it's processing that and again it changes the sort of depth of it so lighter at this end darker at the other end then you can colorize it so if you want to take the colors from the original you can so it reads in the colors it does it doesn't look photography but if you would like to preserve the luminosity it looks less like a sketch and more like a photo but it also makes it sort of quite dark one of the things that i think is fantastic is let me take the colorization away uh, i can change it from being plain to having that sketched image over a background. So it picks this one by default, which is like a very dark parchment. You can have it on a lighter one or a lighter one still. One of the ones I think is really fun, looks like it's um, just been done in a hurry, is the legal pad. That looks so good. I like that. I'm easily pleased. I like that. Uh, you can have it on wood. In those circumstances, it looks better if it if it's darker so you can actually see it. And another one like that is um, this wooden background here. So if you wanted it to look like it was burnt on. In fact, if you change the pen colour to a nice brown colour, it looks even more like it's burnt on. So if I go into here and take that down to a very deep brown, now it looks like it really matches. So it's one of those apps that does one thing but it does it very very well once you've got your image it's a simple matter of just saving it as and then you save it out so if i go to save as and i put that in there i'm not going to worry about naming it just call it untitled and there it is it's saved and i can then use that wherever i need to use it uh, one of the things i've actually used this for is i make lots of slides for presentations that's the day job and um I've done a wanted poster before, but what I wasn't able to do in here is use some of the parchment and uh, put a treasure map on it. And it was a doddle. So much faster than using Photoshop for something like that. So that is Photo Sketcher. And uh, let's come out with that one.